Welcome to Cardiff yeah. Vlogs. I'm with Carl Gaskin today. How are you, Carl? I'm very good, Keith. Very good. Yeah. Good. So I'm going to do a longer introduction and then I stop short. But Carl is away in England <laughs> and he's uh, he's obviously he's a girlfriend in England, he's working away in England. Pat's fan, as you can see. We just thought we'd do a video today on uh, basically what it's like to support a club in the League of Ireland abroad. Because there's a lot of people out there, Carl, isn't there, that abroad support League of Ireland? I've had messages from Vietnam and everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that that is, and there's a lot of uh, there's a there's a lot there's a, a couple of Irish people I know over here that, that follow League of Ireland. Mm. Some follow Cork, you know. Uh, I, there's a Derry City fan, uh, drop of the fan. Do you know what I mean? And it's it's just it's just mad, like do you know what I mean? And um, yeah, it's it's it's, <clears throat> it's 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's the same. It's obviously different because like mm. I the first ever football match I went to was in Richmond Park. I've been going to Richmond Park since I was a kid. Um, you know, I used to do the turnstiles in, in Richmond Park. So it it's obviously hard watching it all the time on the telly, especially when mm. the fans came back. It was already when, when the fans weren't there. But when the fans came back, it was it, it was hard. And especially mm. the, 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 the semi-final against um, Dundalk, and you seen the way it was. And I was like sitting there going, oh, I could have been at that game. Um, yeah. But like, you know, that that's the hard thing. The, the, I'd say it's got easier with um, LOI Watch. I mean, I mm. used to have to watch it on, um, you know, like Bet365 uh, used to show it. Dodgy streams and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Bet365 used to show So I used to, yeah. like, put, like, a quid on. I don't, I don't know what it was to watch the game. Like, do you know what I mean? And uh, you have to watch it on that. Now with, you know, St. Pat's TV and uh, LOI mm. Watch, it's, it, it's a lot easier. It's a lot better. Do you know what I mean? You, you don't really... As, as hard as it is being watching it on the telly, you, you're not really missing it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, mm. that that makes it a lot easier. I have to say. Do you actually remember your first game? Actually, who was against? I do. That? Yeah, yeah. It was against. It was against. It was against. Cove Ramblers and Paul Ozan scored a free kick at the shed end. Yeah, that's how long ago that was. <laughs> Were you in the shed? No, I was I was in the main stand. We were in the main stand, the one right as close to the to the shed, um, and the free kick was at that edge of the box. Mm. So if you're looking at so from this end and the shed end is there, and you put it right in the top corner, and I think we won two one, if I'm not mistaken. What year was that? That was long. Oh, Whoa, here we are. Now? I'm now. I'm, I'm yeah. I'm 29. I'm 29 now. Guarantee you. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm so 20, 29 now. The year Paul Azam scored a free kick against home. <laughs> I remember it, but I don't remember the year either, man. I really don't. Uh, I guess it was in yeah. around that time, though. I don't think it was quite the 90s. Might have been 2002. Um, yeah, yeah. I think it was definitely after think, the 90s uh, spell, yeah. Yeah, I was about, I, 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 I say I would have been about eight or nine. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, so that was my, that was my first, yeah. Yeah. that was my first live football game, and I was been watching it. All the way through. Yeah. That was the that, that, that was the one yeah. that, mine, that set mine off. Was actually, it's just to throw it out there. Mine was in 1995, a one 0 win against Shelburne. By the way, there you go. But anyway, um, yeah, it must be like yeah, exactly. It's hard enough, isn't it, for people abroad, as you've just kind of said, um, to keep up to date with the League of Ireland, etc. But it is it's going to the games that you miss the most because uh, yeah. it's a massive difference, isn't there, between actually going and then keep beating this drum with people that say live in Ireland and have a chance to go to games, but don't go to games. That must be no. a bit frustrating from your point of view because you'd love to be yeah. going to the games. It is, it is, it, it is, it is very frustrating. But I have seen over, like I have seen over the last few years, kind of the League of Ireland sort of kind of taking off a little bit, mm. and mm. it's you know like people, I have people messaging me now mm. seeing if I'd be able to get them tickets for Richmond Park, like, and they would never go to games. Do you know That's what I mean? Cool. And I'd, I'd be in Richmond. I well home and away really, and I'm, to be fair, hopefully now I might get some Europe European trips. Do you know what I mean? Away, they're they're normally the best. Um, so um, yeah, I'd I'd be there every Friday night. Do you know what I mean? And you miss the smell of the grass, you miss the atmosphere, you miss seeing people that like you've been going to for year, going with for years and years and years, and it's kind of that that sort of stuff that you kind of take for granted. Like to be there with people in. Um, in Chicago, that don't go to the games, and you're like, how can that not entice you to go to a game? How can that mm. atmosphere not entice you to go to that game? I think you know, especially Carl, that... 
the thing that annoys me the most is whatever about people not liking football, fair enough. But there's people that actually like football that refuse to go to games, which is just bizarre yeah. because, okay, you might follow your Liverpool, your Chelsea's or Man United. I mean, I watch the Premier League as well, but I watch it like from yeah. afar. But they have a chance to go out on a Friday night or a Saturday and go and watch a game um, close to them. And it's easy to say, the smell the grass. Uh, it's a form of going out, isn't it, as well? I mean, you could even yeah. go and have a few points after and things like that. And people, I don't know, like sometimes I've gone to games where the football may not have been the best, but you've still enjoyed the other aspects of the game. Like obviously when I'm doing a match day vlog, as you may have seen, that's how I, what I'm trying to portray that as well. But it just yeah. does my ring in that people who actually enjoy football refuse to go and just point blank refuse to go. It just does my head yeah. in. You know? Yeah, so yeah, so so I'd, I'd be the same. I'd obviously a massive, massive Pat fan, but I'm also a massive, yeah. massive Liverpool fan. And yeah. like you see the you see these people, like I know loads, I know loads and loads and loads of people um from Ireland that like travel over every week to go watch a Premier League team. Do you know what I mean? Which is great. Do you know what mm. I mean? Our Premier League tickets are like gold dust. It's it's great. Mm. I'd love to I'd love to be at Anfield every week as well. It costs a lot Do you know what I mean? As well, but, doesn't it? It costs a lot of money when you can just literally go down the road and it's like, do you know what I mean? What you pay 15, 15 quid. 20 quid for a ticket, do you know? And 15, it, it's yeah. it's the family, it's it's the family atmosphere that's yeah. there. Like when when the game when when it was going on to the Pats fans, yeah, on Sunday, I knew people that were there by name. Like I was literally saying to my girlfriend, oh, that's do you know that's yeah. that's that you know yeah. what I mean? I I seen I seen my dad and uh my little brother and. Do you know, my dad's mm. mates on the telly and all. Like, do you know what I mean? That's that's what it's that's what it's about. It's the yeah. the, the family, the the community. I suppose I say community. Yeah. I'm actually from Rings End, um, mm. but it's yeah. But you're it's the you just touched on it there, Carol. That your father is obviously a, he's a Pat's fan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's from Inchicore, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so yeah, exactly. So he's from Inchicore. He's like he's Pat's Pat's, you know. So um, yeah. like it's been in the family and that kind of thing for you as well, which is obviously something. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, huge as well there, but um, a lot of people, I suppose, they don't have that. Like, from my personal opinion, like, I never had a parent that was into the League of Ireland, but you can still get into it. You can still get into yeah, it. You can still get down and go to games. If you like football, go to a couple of games. If you don't like it, then, you know what I mean, don't go again. But I can guarantee yeah. you, if you could get 10 people on the street that like football, I get those 10 people just somehow pay them even to go to five games, I reckon most of them will come back. That's just my opinion. Yeah. It's getting them there. Yeah, it's getting it's getting them there, and yeah, it's actually, man, it's about talking about this now. I was me, me, uh, little cousin was actually over here, um, about two weeks ago, and we were talking, and he went, "Oh, I've got some bad news for you," and I was like, "What?" And he was like, "Oh, I started to go to watch the League of Ireland," and I was like, "Right, why was that bad news?" He went, "Oh, because it's Rovers," and I was <laughs> like, "Right." <laughs> and he was just like, better, better I was like <laughs> yeah, it's it's better it's better than nothing. And he loved it. Do you know what I mean? And and it's great. Yeah. As, uh, and yeah. like, as, like I said, I'm 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 from Rings End, so it's yeah. obviously a big Rovers community. And um, so it was it was it was hard kind of growing up. Do you know what I mean? And in yeah. that, uh, I wouldn't say it, it was bad. Like I used to walk around me patch jerseys. I remember me two football managers <laughs> at the time. They were two big yeah. big big massive Rovers fans. And I remember they used to not let me train because I was wearing my patches and stuff like that, just joking. So it's obviously big yeah. in Rings End. So I'm surprised that he's gone to watch Rovers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, do you know what I mean? And he's like, do you know what I mean? He's He was 21 there a few mm. weeks ago and he loved it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? And brilliant. that's all it takes. He said, I went, I went to two games and I was, mm. that's great. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's, that's, that's what needs to happen. They need to, you don't need to go to one game because you can go to one game and I'm sure you're the same. We've watched games and it's like, oh man, when is or, this game going to end? Or it could be freezing cold. You need to go. You need to go back. Everything goes wrong. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Everything goes wrong, and yeah. but that's that. That's the league of Ireland. Yeah. That's the league yeah. of Ireland. Do you know what I mean? That's what it's about. Do you know? Mm. And it's it's a, it's a great league. It's um, it's I just I say to anyone out there who ever watch watching this, just get the stuff down. Go to two or three games, and I tell you what, you tell us. Ah uh, no, you were wrong, but I guarantee you we won't be. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. No, you're right, because um as well as that with yeah. the Premier League and all, it's, it's in a way it's kind of gone out of control, isn't it? In, in a sense, in England, the yeah. Premier League, you know, it's, the money is just out of control. The kind of business side over football 
really come to the fore in the last few years, like really come to the fore. And I suppose yeah. the likes of a League of Ireland, it kind of offers you, I know it's a funny term, but real football, like, you know what I mean? The real lives, you know, you have to fight for a contract. You're not on loads of money. Um, you know, clubs can't pick and choose like some of the Premier League. So I'll give you an example there. Um, I've seen recently with Chelsea, they're one of their, their upper tier at the West End, uh, West Stand costs 1,900 the season tickets. It's going up next season to 3,900. And you're kind of going, that's forcing the, the real fan away. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what these clubs yeah. want, really. They want corporations, commercial, yeah. and that's what they want. But the League of Ireland, as we said, it offers you, that's there on your doorstep. People will moan about that and then not go to the League of Ireland. But it's there. Yeah. The real football is there. It's like English football maybe 30 years ago. And there is quality in the league as well. There's a lot of young players coming through yeah. as well. And, you're going to see good matches because the standard is um, also the standard is fairly even, which usually ties in and helps as well. Relatively even. It's very competitive. Um, so yeah. like there's a massive divide now between football at that level now, isn't there? And the level maybe we're talking about as such. Yeah. Um, I, I remember hearing a story about Conor Kenny. Uh, yeah. Pats, and Pats were playing. Can't remember who they were playing. Mm. Could have been Derry actually away. And Conor Kenny was actually... I, again, don't take this in the horse's mouth. This was just what was told. Yeah, Supposedly, yeah. he was he was he was in a meeting or something. He, I think he worked mm. for AIB, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And he was in a big meeting, big shareholders meeting. And Pats had to go get a car to drive him up to Derry after the meeting. Do you know, these yeah, are the real people. Like, surprising. Did, yeah, and as well as like, you know what I mean. The players are getting paid. You know, they're getting paid like a decent wage, but not a taken for granted wage. Like you know what I mean. It's like I have to yeah. keep working for this wage. It's that type of wage as well. So I think that's a, that's yeah. a massive thing as well. Like, um, you know, you obviously missed the cup final, which was unfortunate for you. Like, um, as a you know yeah. Pats fan and being away, like how gutting was that? Obviously they won it, but how gutting was it to actually miss being there with family and friends yeah, it was, and actually being in the crowd? Like, yeah, it was it 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 was it was it was gutting. Um, not seeing it, especially being in. Again, my hometown of Rings End, do you know what I mean? To see, to, to, to win it there. Um, yeah. And that's two cup finals that I missed. Um, it was, it was, it was, I went through all kinds of emotions that day. I mm. was gutted that I wasn't there. Um, and then I seen some of the videos of what happened in um, in the Irish townhouse, which is yeah. horrible. Um, yeah. I know a couple of, a couple of, uh, people who I know who weren't even going to the game were in there and were injured, oh, which is horrible. I so I hope I hope they're, I hope they're okay. Um, and yeah, I seen the atmosphere then, and my dad rang me then when he was in the stadium, and he was just singing, "Oh, when the Saints go marching in." I was actually trying to make sure he was okay because I knew he was in the OH and I could hear it, and then I seen it, and I was like, "Ah!" Oh. And then the game kicked off. I forgot all about it. Yeah. I was literally just watching the game, and, yeah. and then after it, I was like. I'm not gonna lie. I was when I went to penalties. I was like, "Oh my god, they better win!" And then a tiny little part of me was going, well, "You know, if they don't win, well, at least you're kind of not there." <laughs> you're, you're trying <laughs> you know what I mean? At least you're not yourself if they lose. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to make excuses. I'm trying yeah. to bring myself back down, yeah. and then they yeah. won. And honestly, yeah. um, Lauren was went out to her um to her mum in the car to drop something off, and but the door was open and the wall oh, and I was screaming and like, two of my neighbours came out and Lauren was walking back yeah, in and she right. went, I think he's ha- I think he's happy in there. Yeah. And she just came and she went, you shut up. And I was up on the chair. I was on the table. I was, ah, oh. it was, oh, it was brilliant. brilliant. And then just kind of settled down. I was watching videos um, and yeah. in the dressing room and yeah, yeah, it was tough. It was tough not being there yeah. for the whole day. Um, but then, you know, like you bring in your dad and, do you know what I mean? He was in, I think he was in Pat Browns and you know, he was singing this and he was video chatting you and it was yeah, it was it was it, it was good, you know. It was it was really good. You think you'll get back to Richmond next season at all? Hopefully. I was actually supposed to go to the Bowers game in October and it was called off because of international duty. So we were supposed oh. to be going. So Miguel is dying to see yeah. Richmond Park in all its glory. I mean, I did have to put her through some really, really bad games this year. So, but she's, 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 she's she'd love to go see Richmond Park. So, Brilliant. um, she was, I was good. She was good at that. The game was called off. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get back over and get in as many games as I can. It, it seems to be every time I actually come home, they actually play away. 
Do you know what I mean? And they're always, it's, it's always, you know, yeah, it's always like Sligo or somewhere far, like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so hopefully. The good year, thing hopefully. is next season, only I think Finn Hart, Sligo and Derry, the only teams outside the Dublin type region, like the Dundalk, yeah, they're yeah. an hour away. So you might get lucky there. Yeah. Yeah. Look, Carl, well, thanks. yeah, we'll see. Not a bother. Not a bother. Look, Carl, thanks a million for coming on. Really enjoyed that. Fair play to you. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. It was really, really good. Yeah.